So how much did I save during my no spend month? So for me, a no spend is more than just saving the money. It changes how I feel about spending and consumption for the rest of the year. And it's why I like doing one at least once a year. Now this year, there were a lot of mindset shifts as well as the money saved. So I thought I would go over that. I would go over how much money I saved and just what my general thinking was over the month. I'll go over how I was feeling, what we did, and just give a good wrap up of the results in case you were wondering. So just to go over why I choose February to do a no spend month, it's 28 days, so it's an even four weeks. It's at the start of the year, so it just sets me up for the rest of the year. And I just don't have that much going on in February, so it's a good month for me to do a no spend because I have no major expenses in February. So how much did we save? We saved around $500. That's broken up into about $300 for my shopping budget and around an extra $200 on food. But let's delve deeper into that. So because I was on a no spend, there was no shopping, although we did go to the shopping center twice. So the first time we went, my son still had some Christmas money left over that he wanted to spend. And I don't include that in a no spend because it's his money. I wasn't using my own money. He had it from Christmas and he wanted to spend it. And so that's what we did. We went into the shopping center and he spent some of his Christmas money. Me and my daughter, we just looked around, but I wasn't tempted with anything. So it was all good. After that, we just left. The second time we went to the shopping center was, it was a super hot day and we'd been going to the park a lot to, entertain ourselves but this day they just insisted they want to go to the shopping center and I was like oh okay I didn't really want to go to the park again it was a super hot day and I just wanted to get into the air conditioning now we didn't spend anything we mainly just walked around and there's this like uh, play area in the middle of the shopping center so we kind of just hung out there for about an hour or so and then we left and that was it so even though we went to the shopping center twice didn't spend anything except for my son using some of his Christmas money, which I'm not counting in my no spend. Now food wise, while I'm normally mindful of my shopping budget, I'm not overly obsessive about it. Although during February, I was a little bit more conscious than I normally would be. So normally I budget around $200 for the three of us. And that includes all food, uh, grocery food, takeaway, that sort of thing. And I probably only spent between $100 and $150 instead of the $200 per week. So that has saved me at least $50 a week. Again, I wasn't super frugal about it, although I was very more mindful of what we were buying. And so cutting out an extra $50 a week for the food seemed pretty easy. We didn't have any takeaway that month, so that probably contributed also to the extra $200. So there we go, we saved an extra $500 for the month just on just being more mindful of spending on food and just not shopping for discretionary spending items. So how I felt. So overall, I felt pretty good in February. There wasn't any time that I was really tempted to spend and it felt pretty good and pretty, I was pretty relaxed about it. Now, I remember last year, I didn't quite make the no spend month. I think from memory, there was something that came up with the kids schooling. Um, I can't really remember. I didn't actually make it for the full month last year, um, but it was more a low spend rather than a no spend. But this time around, it seemed really easy. I just didn't want to spend money and I had no desire to do so. So things we did to keep ourselves busy, entertainment wise, we went to the park a lot. Luckily we had good weather to do so. I watched a lot of Netflix. I decluttered around the house. I moved some furniture around and I just generally got a lot of those, you know, those things that you procrastinate on. I got a lot of those things done. So it was a really good productive month for getting all those little things because I just wasn't shopping or wasn't even thinking about shopping. Now the challenge ended on a Thursday and on the Friday, March 1st, I'd planned a shopping trip for myself. So I figured that after a month of not spending, I'd want to spend again. So I had already planned to go to the shopping center on the Friday. I did buy some things. I bought a jacket for $25 from Kmart simply because I'm trying to put a capsule wardrobe together for the new season. And I also got some socks for my daughter for school because her, the socks that she's got currently are starting to get a bit ratty and she needed some new socks but I actually found I didn't want to buy anything else. I just wasn't in a spending mood and I kind of just wanted to get out of there as fast as possible. Now, this feeling of not wanting to spend doesn't happen every time I do a no spend, but it sometimes does. I sometimes get to the end of not spending and it's like it's become a new normal and I just don't have any desire to spend money again. It almost becomes like a habit. Now I imagine I will go back to spending again. I'm not going to say that I'm going to have a no spend year, but even though I'm not a big spender overall, it's hard to say, but right now I'm just not in the mood to spend. Now I do have some big purchases that I wanna do this year, but those small purchases, those little ones that you just go out and buy, 
I kind of, I'm just not interested in doing that right now. Now I'll keep budgeting $75 a week on my discretionary spending. That's for me and the kids. But at the moment, I've just got no desire to spend. So it's probably, I'm not going to spend that budget, but it's there for if I change my mind. I think the psychological part of it is that I don't like parting with money. It's definitely probably stemmed from childhood where we grew up with not much. So now when I have money, I have a difficult time spending it on things. And plus, I just don't like a lot of stuff. Now, if you've ever moved, you know how annoying stuff is. Now, while I definitely lean towards the minimalist side of things, I'm not a true minimalist, but I definitely don't like a lot of things around me. I feel much more calmer and more at peace when there's space. So I definitely prefer the less is more option. So spending on those small things, those little decluttered things, those things that just seem to pile up in your drawer, the reward just doesn't seem worth it. It's probably that I don't experience a shopping high. Now I know some people do, I've never felt that. I usually look at something and think that's $50, that's $2,000, rather than think of the item, I'm thinking of the monetary value of that item. It's very rare for me to separate the price tag from the item. It's probably why I don't get designer goods. Now I can conceptualize that they're probably better made and they look better, but I can't see past the price tag, especially when I can see something similar that's well below that price that it's probably not as good, but I can't uh, separate the price from the item. And so the, so I think the smaller item is still fine. I'd much rather buy that than the more expensive option. But that's why I like doing a no spend. It really does change my thoughts on money. And I saved $500, which I think was a really good amount for me because I am not a big spender. So if you did a no spend, let me know if you saved money first of all, and if it actually did change your thoughts about spending and money overall. I really feel like challenges like this can really change your relationship with money or relationship with spending. So let me know if it was more than just saving money for you as well. So I hope you found this video useful. I'll see you next week. So take care and have a great week. Bye.